Hi there, Dr. Andrea Schnowski from Freedom Chiropractic and Holistic Health here on Health and Horsepower, our YouTube channel. And uh, I am here today to talk to you a little bit more about health freedom. I think health freedom is really important because number one, the United States was founded on the principles of liberty and personal responsibility. Um, but health freedom is a right for individuals to be able to make their own healthcare decisions. That means that they need to be able to access not only healthcare information, but services, treatments, products, for themselves or their family without fear of repercussions or coercion and also being able to have informed consent. Healthcare is really not one size fits all. When it comes down to it, people respond differently to medications. Uh, one thing I think is really important that I think a lot of people don't realize, most medication trials are performed on a group of men. Um, so a lot of times when we're looking at medication, sometimes women's bodies process those things differently. So when we're looking at only research that the pharmaceutical industry has done, sometimes we don't really know until after it's been released to the public and people have been taking it for a while that it may not exactly do the same things in women. Um, but every person's body is different and we need a unique approach to our own healthcare. Some people process medications differently. Some people have health mutations, like gene mutations that cause them to process things differently or not be able to methylate things. Um, we may also have certain conditions that run in families where certain organs don't work properly or maybe your spine or your joints have um, more inflammation due to a family history of arthritis or something like that. So sometimes, you know, when it comes down to it, some people may want to look at a blend of treatments when it comes to certain health conditions, not just one type of care. Um, we need to be able to have options. So really it comes down to the fact that every individual has the responsibility and the right to do their own research and educate themselves on not only their condition, but different treatment options that are available, including the risks and the benefits of those treatment options. And they have to be able to make the appropriate decision for themselves and for their family as to what is going to fit best. Now, for some people that is going to depend on their uh, clinical findings. For some people that's gonna depend upon their personal beliefs and values as to what they decide to choose. Um, I know I've seen a lot of patients in my office that have been stuck in an allopathic model or more of a conventional medical uh, treatment option when it's coming to musculoskeletal conditions like joint pain or injuries. And they may only have been using pain medication and muscle relaxers and nerve blockers or injections for years and really have not seen any improvement before they come to my office and once they figure out what we're doing in our office and they're actually seeing results, they wish that they would have known about our office and the types of treatments we offer years before because they're able to see results typically within the first month of care, sometimes even sooner than that. I've had patients that have literally been dealing with sciatic pain for 10 years before they come to our office and find out, you mean all I had to do was get this adjusted and get the pressure off the nerve? I didn't have to deal with it forever? I could have been doing stretches and exercises and adjustments this whole time to get that relieved. And they're kind of floored that their doctor didn't give them an option or even tell them about chiropractic or maybe they weren't even given an option for physical therapy to help manage some of the muscle issues that go along with it. In our office, we combine chiropractic along with some physical therapy and home exercises in addition to nutrition and support for your body to help it heal. Um, so I know I've helped, also had patients that have dealt with uh, digestive issues and anemia for years, not realizing that those were related to hormones or those related to bacteria imbalances in their gut that we were able to find with lab testing and actually treat and get them balanced and feeling better, being able to eat food again, being able to know that they're not gonna pass out at the gym because they're so anemic that their body literally can't even work out because their oxygen flow is not enough. Um, so I really, I'm a big proponent of health freedom and I think really it comes down to the fact that individuals need to have the right to be able to get the medical treatments of their choice for themselves and their family. And I think they should really be able to understand that sometimes when you go to one type of provider, they may not give you multiple options. Sometimes you have to get options and opinions from multiple different types of providers and different types of care to get an idea about number one, what is wrong, but how you can actually help your body heal. Um, traditionally, you know, most medical insurance coverage has a specific types of care that they cover and they only care cover this much of care this type of care and sometimes you have to jump through hoops to get to it um, but in reality i think that a lot of times 
it's really important to understand, you know, not only what is going on with your health and what's going on with your family's health, but also what you can be doing and what options are out there. So if you need some help, if you're looking for an alternative option um, or something different, I know I've had a lot of patients that I have not only reviewed lab work, I'll actually do an exam or even look at x-rays and give a second opinion as to what's going on and what some other recommendations or things to consider would be. I've had some patients that after surgery or even have had an MRI, and really just want answers as to what is going on in real terms that I can understand, maybe with some pictures or models, so that they can make better healthcare decisions. So if you are one of those, um, keep on supporting health freedom. I think it's really important. I know, obviously, uh, with July 4th just happened, um, it's really important to understand that you know our freedom is in many different aspects and areas of our life. But I think understanding that there are different options for treatment out there, not just pain medication, not just surgery, um, but there's actually physical things that we can do to help improve your body's function, your nerve function, your healing response, and even help your body to heal itself. So thanks for tuning in. Hopefully you've learned a lot on this channel. I know uh, my girls were really excited yesterday. We went out to the garden and saw that we had some kale ripe for harvesting. Uh, we haven't done a kale chip video in a long time. So we're going to have uh, probably some recipe videos later this week or weekend that we're going to share with you uh, for me and the girls harvesting them things from the garden. So have a great rest of your day. We'll see you next one this Wednesday.